Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Sabotage here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about stopping power rounds. So uh, a couple weeks ago I just was using stopping power rounds in Warzone and I realized that stopping power rounds feel really different since last time I used them. Um, and I realized that they actually made some weird ass changes to stopping power rounds and I'm going to be talking about that in today's video. So. I'll go ahead and hop into a custom here in a second and show you guys what I'm talking about. But if y'all are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Help me out. It would mean a lot. And lastly, uh, I've been working on growing my Instagram lately. It is just sneaky sabotage at sneaky sabotage. Uh, and we are almost at 200 followers. I, I haven't really been worrying about growing it lately, but um, the past week I've been posting a lot on it and stuff like that. So uh, let's try to get our Instagram to over 300 followers by the end of next month. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And on my Instagram, I always post things behind the scenes of my videos. And I tell you guys about videos before they even come out. So go check it out. Let's hop into the video. So obviously you're probably wondering why I'm talking about Warzone in this video, but yet I'm in multiplayer. Just to let you guys know, the stopping power rounds are the exact same in multiplayer and Warzone. So it doesn't matter what I do it in. In multiplayer, it's crazy easy to obviously get stopping power rounds. I can just, you know, click on the option and it gives it to me. Where in Warzone, I got to look around and find it. And sometimes it's actually pretty hard to find. So uh, I just did this because it's a lot easier. So if you haven't guessed it already, the thing we are talking about is recoil with stopping power rounds. Let's go ahead and start with our let's go ahead and start with our Uzi here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and shoot right in the middle of the O, and we'll see how much recoil we have. Now remember, I have a uh, like a compensator and a bunch of stuff on this. So let's just see what happens. So that is the recoil pattern um, with the Uzi without the stopping power rounds. Let's go ahead and activate the stopping power rounds. We'll go ahead and shoot. We'll start shooting right next to where I started last time and we'll see what happens. Now as you guys can see when you put stopping power rounds on your SMG, it actually helps your shots hit where you're shooting them versus without stopping power rounds. With stopping power rounds, without stopping power rounds on the SMG. All right, so now we are here with rifles and I just have a basic M4 class that someone would probably use in Warzone. Let's go ahead and shoot right here at this end and let's see what happens without stopping power rounds. So that is what the M4 looks like if you're just straight spamming it. As you can see, it kind of goes to the right. So, here's an extra tip. Whenever you're in war zone and you're, you're shooting, when you get to around this point of shooting, start aiming to the left a little bit and you'll actually hit more of your shots. But now let's go ahead and reload the stopping power rounds onto it. Go right along next to where it was and shoot. Now on the stopping power rounds right here, it looks like you kind of have a kick at the beginning as you can see. It's not, there's not very many um, bullet holes uh, at the very, very start. As you can see, I accidentally just shot my bad. But um, as you can see, there's not very many bullet holes at the start, which means that your gun is kind of jumping up a little bit because it's not hitting very many. So like, it's doing, it's doing like kind of like that off the start. And then it kind of slowly starts uh, forming a line right around here and it starts overlapping each other and then obviously going to the right. So stopping power rounds on ARs at the very, very beginning are going to give you more recoil, but it's gonna kind of smooth out as it goes to the right. Now remember, this is the M4 and this is the Uzi. I'm not saying that all ARs are gonna look exactly like this, but I'm just using these two type of guns as an example. Alrighty then, now we got the Bruin that everybody loves so much. We're going to go ahead and aim right here in the middle of the H and see what it's like without recoil. Okay, so look at that. It's actually the exact opposite of a rifle. It goes up and then to the left, where the rifles go up to the right. So we're going to go ahead and pop the stopping power rounds on it and go exactly lined with it and see what happens. Ow. 
absolutely no difference. Now the main thing here is eventually whenever you're shooting your gun, you're going to get used to how it feels, you're going to get used to the aim. If you put a stopping power rounds on an AR, it's going to feel a little different at the start, but then you're going to be able to hit your shots afterwards. On the SMGs, it's going to help you hit your shots, and on the LMGs, it's going to feel the exact same. Well, mainly on the Bruin. Now whenever I did SMGs, I did the Uzi as you guys saw, but I think I'm going to actually go ahead and do the MP5, because obviously the MP5 is used way more than the Uzi. So we're going to go ahead and compare and shoot, so let's change up our spot, we'll shoot, we'll go over here on the O, right in the middle, and shoot without stopping power rounds. So that is what the MP5 looks like, kind of goes to the right, then up, then to the right again. So it's like a right, up, right, up. Now with stopping power rounds right next to it, right on the same spot. Look at that. As you guys can see, stopping power rounds affects each gun that you use completely different. As you can see, as you guys can see on the Uzi, stopping power rounds on the Uzi is perfect. It perfectly centerizes the bullets, but on the MP5, it makes the MP5 worse. Now, obviously, a lot of people have been using the Kilo lately, so we're going to mess around with that. There is the Kilo. It is way more accurate than the M4. We're going to go ahead and pop on stopping power rounds, aim right at the same spot, and shoot. Stopping power rounds actually hurt the Kilo. So thank you all so much for watching. As you guys can see, hop into a custom with your favorite gun and check out if stopping power rounds helps it or doesn't help it. As you guys can see, I tested one, two, three, four, five different guns uh, and, and it's helped on some and stayed the same on some and killed some of the other ones. So remember, just hop into a custom, try out your favorite gun, see if it helps it or kills it or stays the same. Uh, and it's been your boy Sabotage. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if this video helped you or informed you guys of anything. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. See, I'm just as good as any singer. I'm pro. You're bad and you know it. And you're mad because you can't save your teammate. Eddie, just oh, how the fuck? You guys right here? Ooh. I don't care, just kidding. I'm your biggest fan, so... Very good. Thank you.